Do you accept the gift that I offer? Look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? I'll take it you're Aldred. Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. You're turning these people into abominations. And freeing them in the process. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your chantry vilifies us, calls us abominations when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The Chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. I'm glad so many of them stood up to you. And what good did that do? I still won. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I? What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually, as will you. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm not stupid. Do you think I'm going to let you wander around this tower knowing you are a pawn of the Templars? You are a thorn in my side, and I must remove you before you fester. Did you have to use such a disgusting analogy? No, but it served to bring the point across. I cannot let you be, but killing you? Such a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Hello. 
use the letter E, I forgot. only one. No, there's another. So fast. Ah, this injury isn't going to go away quickly. Maker, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Win? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Very well, lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Well, what does the Knight Commander think then? We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. And what about the Darkspawn? I require aid. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. You mean the First Enchanter? Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah. 
I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Well. Here we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Though it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The Blight drove me here to seek aid. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. But there are so few, uh, but there are so few mages left. Do not underestimate us. Even one mage will be a great help to you. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This woman is brave and good, and capable of great things. If she will accept my help, I will help her accomplish her goals. I would be honored to have you join me, Wynne. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. I understand. Till we meet again. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. Yeah. Well, he's not so bad. He's okay. But Cullen is so bleh. He improves a bit by Inquisition though, thankfully, but he's still a butthead in Dragon Age 2. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time and we'll start another quest. <laughs>